Hands folded, Roy Waller sat motionless as the judge read all 46 counts against him. The jury finding the accused NorCal rapist guilty across the board on charges including rape, sodomy and kidnapping. Waller convicted of terrorizing nine women across six counties from 1991 to 2006. Waller avoiding eye contact as his future was read. One of the victims says she made sure to take it all in. It was just good to stare at him because before I, I couldn't, you know, it felt so good and just it looked like he maybe he was crying last night. I shouldn't say this, but I don't know. His eyes were red. It just felt great. My heart, uh, it, just, it feels great. The 60 year old convicted of being a serial rapist. His first victim, Nicole Ernest Pate in 1991. Today, she celebrates her victory. 29 years of waiting and waiting. Amazing. Amazing. Great day. Great day. A lot of work went into solving this case. Couldn't be more grateful to everyone involved. Massive amount of work. Precedent setting case. It's a good day. Nicole thankful for the prosecutors who argued that this was purely a DNA case since Waller's DNA was found at six of the seven crime scenes. We're just thankful that DNA was there and that the victims were able to receive justice no matter how long it took. For the 12 jurors, it took very little time to make their decision. Michael H. says they deliberated for only two and a half hours. We all knew it was a slam dunk case. DNA don't lie. Your DNA can't sh show up at every rape case and, you, and you're innocent. It was heartbreaking, tear dropping what them young ladies had to go through in them times. And nobody should, have, if you're not from here or from here, Nobody should have to go through that. Meanwhile, Waller's defense team no comment. refused to talk about the verdict today. Roy Waller's sentencing is set for December 18th. He could face life in prison. And though it took jurors only a couple of hours to reach a decision, the judge says the sentencing process could be a complicated one. In downtown Sacramento, Marley Martinez, KCR Rate 3 News.